There's a fat man sitting on it. So things are really, I Cody, I need you to build a box. Because when we have the bar, we're not going to be sitting. We'll be standing behind the bar. Let's just bring up the eight foot ladder. <laughs> Are you building a box big enough for the ladder to go on? Because <laughs> he's still like, hi, welcome, welcome. Oh, I thought you were going to put the ladder on top of the bar top. Oh. <laughs> so it's already halfway up. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we're trying to make it so when people put, meet put a, you in real life, you're like, wow, you're a lot that. shorter than I <laughs> Put a Put a pulley up there, and when we start, I'll hoist him up on a little like swing. <laughs> No? Okay. I saw this big old pencil in Kroger's yesterday, and I was going to buy it. Oh, come on! And I was going to say, look, I bought the smallest pencil I could find. <laughs> I did the clicky clicky thing you're supposed to start. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Short. Were you messing with this? It's no, not facing the I camera. Didn't mess with it. So we're doing. It's got a little collar on it. Doing something. I don't ever. This has been open, and I don't recall ever sampling it. So somebody has it. But we've had it a while. Um, we're going to try a Texas um, company, and I, I don't know exactly. I'm positive it's Texas. It's called Caliber. Dark Cherry Whiskey. It's from the Yellow Rose Distilling um, Company. It's in Houston, actually, down in Houston, Texas. And so I haven't been to Houston in years um, because, you know, I live in Texas and everything is at least, you know, 24 hours away from each other. Um, but we'll have to go down there. They have a whole series of whiskeys. This one is a dark cherry flavor. They're all flavored. Um, there's no age statement. It's at 70%. So it's a little bit less than um, legally what we could call a whiskey. Because I'm pretty sure that it has to be at least 80%. I know that's the truth on bourbon, but I think that's the same with whiskey to legally or technically legitimately be called a whiskey. Yeah. Um, but they have a whole series of flavors. Didn't you go through Houston to go for New Orleans? What? Didn't you go through Houston to go to New Orleans? Yeah. So last time I went to Chicago, I had to go through L.A. Why would I go through Houston and get to New Orleans? Did you drive down the 40? No. No? No, drive down 20 to uh, Shreveport and then down. And then it still waits if, south? If I go through Houston... <laughs> And then over, I don't, I spend most of my time in Texas. And I'd rather spend most of my time in Louisiana where they have 24 hour liquor stores and cheap bottles and maximize my availability. Your, your purchasing power. My purchasing power. So Caliber runs at $15.99. So that's gonna be a four barrel, 70% flavored spirit. They say it's a flavored whiskey. Uh, it is, let me see if I can see, it's produced and bottled by Caliber, so it doesn't look like it's distilled by Caliber, because it says it's produced, not distilled by, so I'm assuming it's a sourced uh, whiskey, or it's just, I don't know, but we're going to try it, and um, who in here has had it? You, 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 you. Only I've already minutes. been corrupted. I don't know. I don't remember this at all. But let's go ahead and we'll do the review down the center of the screen. We're going to look at aroma. Remember, it's a four barrel for um, uh, cost, aroma, flavor, and bite. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that somebody doesn't like it. You're all done? Oh. It reminds me of something that I can't. 
Play your shit. I can tell you exactly what it is. Hmm. I can tell you what it is, and I can tell you how to drink this. Alex, would you want some more since you went through that pretty quick? <laughs> Cody went through it really quick. Okay. So, it's a four on cost. I give it a three on aroma. It's got a very strong cherry aroma. There's almost a verithane smell to it to me like a chemically yeah I didn't smell. really get that I gave it a three and a half yeah I see you gave it a three and a half so you you yeah. kind of like the aroma yeah I gave it a, a two on flavor you gave it a three tell yeah, me why it's kind of like a cherry chocolatey kind of flavor kind of like okay yeah I can I can I can get that chocolate yeah it kind of it more tastes like candy than whiskey. It almost made. tastes like those um, liquor-filled chocolate-covered mm -hmm. cherries. To me, I gave it a two because this tastes like cough syrup to me. And it's got the same kind of sting as cough syrup. This tastes like cough syrup. I don't like it. It's got a too medicinal, chemically, I don't know, fake cherry chocolate flavor. I don't like it. I gave it a three on bite, which is what you gave. It's got a it pretty got average a bite. bite. It's not yeah, it's only 70 um, percent, 35 proof. Uh, so this gives us a three. It gives you um, a three and a quarter. So it's basically a three barrel. However, the only reason it's getting that three barrel is basically because of the cost yeah. to me. I think this would be a good candidate for our first ever negative bonus bro. It's probably not our first ever. I think we've done this before. But it's really hard for me to say this is a three bro. I would say it's a two. Uh, a, I don't think it's a whiskey at 70. B, it's too medicinal and if you want artificial. To, if you want to give it a two, I'm up with that. Because what I was going to say is like, I would definitely not buy this if I saw no, it in the store. I would definitely not. But if I got this for my Christmas, I probably would drink Which it. Which I think is what happened. I think we got this as a gift. Because, yeah, it's like... I would drink it if it came in so to some, my possession, but I would definitely not. Something that it. we have not done in quite a few episodes because it became really redundant. The answer was, how do you drink this? And we always said neat, or maybe with a drop of water, or maybe with a, a, a cold stone or something. How do we drink it? And it never varied, so we pretty much stopped that. How do you drink this? I'd put it in my coffee. <laughs> oh, no, I was saying, no, no. this actually probably would be tolerable, and, and I'm not trying to diss it. There are people out there, everybody's got their own likes so what i don't like doesn't mean somebody else doesn't but this would be tolerable to me in a coke to give it that cherry, cherry coke, coke kind of thing flavor with a bite or the you know a little punch to it but that's that's it now there might be cocktails out there okay. i would not put this in an old-fashioned or anything like that but there might be cocktails this works with and they got these little collars and like here's a something called a cherry bomb one part cherry whiskey and two parts dr pepper so, so like basically cherry dr pepper. dr pepper yeah so, essentially just dr. Pepper. so yeah <laughs> if you add this to a uh, a coke or a cola um or as a mixer yes yeah, straight neat rocks whatever no i don't think you would even taste that in a dr pepper i don't know i don't drink dr pepper so i haven't had a dr pepper Five years, yeah, six years. We'll, we'll try to get, we have some friends that come over, family that come over, um, that drink Dr. Pepper. We'll see if they'll try it out and we'll get Anthony. 
So it's rated at a three. I choose to give it a negative barrel of a two. Andy, what say you? Oh, I would go with a two. I don't know. Okay, and I know Alex would give it a negative two. It's obvious you did not like this. Cody? Too tired. <laughs> so that's a new rating, the two tired? So the, eh, eh, I'm too tired. Too tired. So, um, caliber, caliber Dark Cherry out of Houston, 70%. Um, pretty inexpensive at $15.99. We're going to give it a two on this. Um, but that's with the caveat that it probably would be okay in a mixed drink or a Coke or something. Like I say, they have a whole ton of different flavors and different types of caliber. Um, I don't know if they actually distill any of it, whether it's all sourced and just altered. Um, but we might look at some of the other ones. Well, like you said they got a whole different, it's like, I kind of find it a hard. They have a cinnamon one. Uh, I'd try the cinnamon one, but I was going to say I'd kind of hot, have a hard time trying the other ones okay. just by this. If you've had this, let us know. Um, tell, tell us what your cocktail of choice would be for this. It's got a very dark cherry or very cherry chocolatey flavor. Um, what do you think about Caliber? And do you think it should be called a whiskey if it's only at 70%? So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out the um, Twitter and there's a Facebook coming. It's already there. I just need to put in the link. And Instagram, keep up with. Bourbonandbooze.com. I already said Facebook. Merch. Merch. And remember, <laughs> I can't do this. I just can't do this. What? I just can't finish. Because there's just no, not whiskey. There's no bad whiskey. Oh, good. There's no not bad whiskey. whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is not, and this whiskey. Is not whiskey. So. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. So, Cody. Would you burn this glass? No, just joking. <laughs> How many two tires did you give it? I don't know. I just Three two tires or one two tires?